Oh well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Nightingale. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. I decided to come back tonight and uh, finish <laughs> finish the house that could not be finished, and uh, that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, so Basket Coon did reappear, so we we got Basket Coon back, got our resources here. Ended up with a trunk coon as well, which I figured out how to get them to come back if things do go horribly awry. Uh, but now I'm also realizing that before I commit to this particular area that I've decided to build in, I want to make sure that the building is square. And it is square enough. It's good enough for government work, so we're going to be good. Uh, but I decided to actually build down in the water here. I thought it would be kind of cool, uh, which I think it is. I'm, I'm actually liking this build that we're doing. I kind of want to make it a little bit wider. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I kind of want to make this this watering hole that I that I got going on here a little bit bigger. Uh, so we're going to be exploring the realms. We're going to be unlocking more building materials. We're going to be doing some upgrading, gathering some stuff, and uh, it's going to be good. So I decided to kind of build in this oasis because I I feel like it looks really nice down here. Uh, so that's kind of the process we're going through tonight. We've got plenty of materials. Speaking of which, we're going to. Go ahead and plop said materials in. I've got 64 bricks right there. We only need 27 to finish out what we needed. Um, wait, did we just... Did I just somehow duplicate those bricks? Did you did y'all see that? What was that all about? Is bat is is Trunk Coon an infinite trunk of awesomeness now? Hmm, something something there broke for a second. Uh, but regardless, thank you all for coming to hang out today, you wonderful, wonderful humans. Uh, Ginger, Orange Cheeto Dust, Care Bear, Els, <laughs> Foxo, Natasha, Arnold, Bree, Amy, Ashley. How is everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so we are working on the uh, using the tutor stuff right now. So we're going to build this out that way. We're going to build this out this way. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand our little watering hole that we have here. So we're going to remove that. We're going to remove this. This and this. I'm going to pick up all those resources, put them in there. Is the game broken? Uh-oh. Might have, might have kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit broken the game. I'm not 100% sure. Yep, all right, I'm gonna log out. <laughs> I broke something. I'm gonna log back in real quick. It's pronounced Eldsden? <laughs> Elds <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to pronounce it. Currently playing in Shroud with a friend after their original Shrouded server died. Oh, that's fun. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. It's terrible. Sorry to hear that. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear about your husband, too. Oh my goodness. Hope he's okay. Stoli, what did it do? Now we're making super fancy house. Is the plan. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that chest did break there for a second. So we got the bricks. I need to go to sleep for the night. Grab some lumber. Oh, there we go. All right, that's that's a little bit better. I feel like it needs to be maybe a little bit more out this way as well. I don't know. I'm going uh going crazy with it. I don't know what the plan is. It's gonna look like something. But I also want to unlock some more of the building materials because I think it might help with the building process a little bit. Uh, we've got all of our settler stuff as well, um, obviously, but. I want to get more. There we go. That does look quite a bit better. But now it doesn't have a center like I had planned. So maybe we'll end up doing three. Usually lurk, but so excited to catch a live stream. Well, welcome. Glad to have you here with us today. Hope you're having a great night. There we go. Do that. Then we need 12 bricks and we'll be good to go. Then we can sleep through the night. And we'll start exploring the realms a little bit. Oh no, this chest just keeps breaking. Oh boy. Um, well that's fun. 
take all items. Uh, interesting. So <laughs> I do believe I have found a new bug. All right, we're going to log out again. We definitely broke this chest. I know, I know what happened, but. <laughs> Stole it. You can craft the gazpacho in the bonfire, but you need the augmentations. If you can't find something, it's always an augmentation that you need to add. So most new tiers of crafting, like ref uh, refinery benches or the basic benches, they'll craft the basic versions of things, but the other versions that you unlock need to be... You need to have the augmentation for them. Okay. So we're going to remove this weathered trunk now. We're going to pick all this up and then we're going to rebuild the weathered trunk. And then we're going to put all of these items back into the weathered trunk. And now it's fixed. Boop. Okay. Yep, okay. So we did bug out the trunk. So I found a new bug in the game. <laughs> Most people probably haven't accidentally found that bug, because that was a very, very, very specific bug. Very interesting. Anyways, let's go explore some realms. We've got some gazpacho on us. But yeah, no, gazpacho is amazing for... For stamina and whatnot. Speaking of which, I think I just accidentally put all my gazpacho away. I got him. Gotta go grab our food before we go running off all willy nilly, you know? Gaspacho in here. Do I knew it. Got the other food in there too. And the salad. <laughs> Clapped up right in the face. Am I getting the message? What? Oh, the massage. <laughs> it was a tie. Uh, technically, even though it was a competition for stamina, I mean, honestly, we both made a, a different version that was good in its own ways. It was, it was pretty much a tie. I was trying to give her the win, but realistically, like, we both made a different version that's better in certain circumstances. And there goes my ankles. This must be the card that I played that's causing these dudes to spawn randomly. Interesting. Which, I don't even remember what card I played. An artisan card is what I played. Uh, let's go ahead and replay a settler card. Which ended up being a feast, which is fine. I just need to sleep. <laughs> hmm. What the heck? That's a way to wake up. Good lord. We also need to find a new partner in crime. Uh, since we fired what's her face, Helen, we need a, we need a new Helen tonight. So we'll see how that goes. I need to figure out where I put my bullets as well. Basically, life has been uh, life has been crazy. I don't know where my bullets are. Take these for now. 
I will upgrade my gun. There's some more dust. We're going to make some more bricks. I fired grandma. I did fire grandma. She had it coming, though, to be fair. But, you know, sometimes you just, you just got to fire grandma. I didn't want to. I had to. Okay? The big difference. All right. We need to... We need a bunch of different things, honestly. Um, let's see here. This was the... This was the swamp realm. We're going to reset this portal. We're going to reopen this portal. Actually, no. We're going to close this portal. Because uh, what we need to do is we need to go explore some realms. I don't think we've gone to a desert gloom yet. Oh, we did. That was the axe pick, the roar, thorns, uh, potions. But we need the the desert stuff. We got the advanced roofs, or we got the upper floor. So desert and antiquarium. Was it desert astrolabel? No. Desert provisioners? Okay. Where do I get the desert stuff? Desert Herbarium, the desert basic set. So we need to go to a desert, a swamp. Yeah, we need a desert, a swamp. We're gonna do all hard mode stuff for this too. And a, that's it, desert and swamp herbarium realm. She's in a home upstate. Oh my god. Anyways, thank you all for joining for a, a late night live stream. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I know we've been doing the uh, the later night live streams lately. And uh, it's nice every once in a while to kind of change things up a little bit. I don't know why they suddenly made... Oh, you know what? I bet it's because I don't know how to make it. That's why I can't move it. Oh, I'm so stupid. Ugh. Love late night live streams? Oh, yeah. All right, skiddly do. Let's go. Do you lose your minor cards when you uh, when you use them? Yes, yes you do. Actually. I need to find the hunt card too, so we gotta keep an eye out for that. Gotta keep an eye out for new resources. We got some blue trees over here. And these dudes leave a lot to be desired. Oh shoot. How did I lose all my- You know, sometimes, sometimes life is easy. Other times life is just really, really hard. And I certainly make life way harder than it needs to be 99.9% .9 of the time. I don't know how I do it. I'm pretty sure I just like have an innate talent for it. Checked in my hotel with my corporate card declined. Oh no. Oh, poor Sandy. Miss having one of those days. Boy, oh boy. No more death by tree today, at least. I 
I make life harder than it needs to be in games as well. My husband thoroughly despises it. <laughs> uh, sometimes that's just the way it be, right, Tear? Tear heard make life harder, and he was like, I can do that. Why is this Capacho? Oh. Why is why does the mixed plants water last seven thirty minutes and the gazpacho's only that's very confusing. Something's broken there. I feel like I broke the entire game because of that chest glitch that I did accidentally. It's a big bummer. He told me earlier today, I don't want to play games with you because you make them too hard and I want them to be casual. Tell me you dirty casual, get good. Mm -mm -mm. You dirty casual. There's nothing wrong with that though, by any means. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the great thing about games is uh there's always a way to find you know the way to play them that makes you happy i like playing games casually and then finding all the nerdy hardcore stuff that's inside of the games my ankle is sprint what the heck that means i can't climb oh my god Oh, are you serious right now? You cannot dodge. It does not say I cannot climb. Nothing about this says I cannot climb. It says I cannot dodge. Cannot doge. Can climb, please. Alright. Can't dodge or climb, apparently. Nah, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with playing games casually. That's the that's that's the best part about gaming is everybody has their uh, their favorite ways to play. Climb. Thank you. Climbing rat now about to make me want to play on casual mode, though. I'll tell you what. There we go. This game sometimes makes me want to punch babies in the face. I don't know what activates the climbing sometimes. Like, I feel like I'm just very confused 99% of the time when trying to use these climbing picks. To be fair, this is maybe the second time, third time I've ever tried to use them. I don't... I swear to God. There we go. I don't know what I did differently the last two times, but I clearly did something different. Do I know what it was? No. Absolutely, absolutely not. <sighs> it's fine. I don't need to know how to climb. I'm never going to do it again. The only time you need climbing picks is the freaking desert. And you don't even need them. You can just not do it the hard way. What you gonna do with that big old scorpion booty? Oh, bonk! Oh. 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 Oh, that's decidedly not good. 
I have no healing potions. I'm so bound. Oh my god. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nope, oh, this is great. Fantastic. Well, at least there's a... Essence Trader at the top of this mountain. I guess we're going to go up there. I wonder if I can cheat my way to the top of this. I've actually never tried to cheat my way to the top of a uh, of a tower before. Never occurred to me to even bother to try. Climb, baby, climb. <laughs> I bet we can cheat our way to the top. March 19th for Stardew. Yes, indeed. Wish I could save a character loadout at this point with the character creation menu. I've just spent 30 minutes on making the perfect peacock looking eyeshadow and eyeliner. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> oh, Patrick. What you doing up here, buddy? Enchantments. Potions. Buildings Desert. The be Desert Basic Set. Now that I've successfully ruined everything. Is there anybody up here that I can recruit? Probably not. Oh, Leroy over there. We need to find a new Helen. The problem being, Helen doesn't want to be found. Isn't this where What's-Her-Face is? Yeah, this is this is exactly where What's-Her-Face is, believe it or not. It is exactly where. Ta-da! Nice. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of you up here. Oh my lord. Why, why aren't there so many of you up here? Oh shoot. Oh. Oh. Skirt! <laughs> well, turns out mayhap we should have made some potions. Alright, as we got what we wanted from here. bad time for an ad. There's never a good time for an ad. Hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> so let's see here. If we go to the swamp, then we're going to get the swamp basic sets. And then that'll allow us to kind of figure out exactly how we want to build out the rest of the house. I think it's a pretty solid plan. There's definitely worse plans to be had in life. And we've got a relatively solid one. If only this loading screen would finally end. Oh my god. Okay. I need to change the respite point. We need to do that like right now. Because I keep forgetting. Then we're going to have to do that again later as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think this one is mine? Nope. That's Pistachio Land. Which is Lexara's. Where did I put mine? A relatively solid plan. Sometimes that's all you can ask for is like a relatively okay plan. You hate Domino's ads? They're so long. Oh, no. Well, that's a bummer. All right, so something's definitely bugged out with the game, because now the gazpacho says it has 60 minutes. Oh, maybe it was a it was an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, oh, I see what happened. I'm tracking what the game's putting down now. So we're going to do Herbarium. Swamp. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. I meant to click the reopen button. Lydia's over here. I think we're going to go back to using Lydia for a little bit. See how that goes for us. Until we can recruit somebody else. Lydia's been on the struggle bus down here for a hot minute. Lydia's the OG. Oh, Gregory, have a wonderful night. Food ads are the food ads are the worst. Cause it's like either you're hungry or you're not. Like we know you exist. We're gonna find you on our own. Why are you advertising? You know? It just doesn't make any sense. If we're hungry, we're gonna find you. That's the rules of food. I don't, I don't feel like an ad has ever influenced my purchase as far as, like, most products go. Like, if I'm hungry, I'm going to figure out what I want to eat. If I need detergent, I'm going to pick a detergent when I'm at the store. An ad has never influenced my purchasing decision when it comes to that. I feel like it's just wasted money. I just don't, I don't understand it. All right, Lydia. Are you ready? Wait a second. Yeah, we're ready. We're fine. This is great. This is perfect. I love this. Okay, we need to find the Fey Tower to get some XP. We also want to go to the Schwalp. So there's the Fey Tower right there. We should be able to make it through this one. I forgot the bullets again, but that's fine. Who needs bullets? We have Lydia this time. Lydia is our bullet. Oh my god, we're getting Hip Hop Anonymous. Don't fight the hippos, Lydia! Don't fight the hippos, Lydia! This is me now. I should have brought potions. Oh my god, double hippo surprise. God dang it. This game. The hippos in this game have zero chill! As do hippos in real life, 
But if I wanted to deal with real life hippos, I would. But I don't. Now I literally have to leave because hippos have ruined my day. <sighs> literally dead from hippo. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. And I'm still spawning down here. I swear to the almighty Jesus. Hippos are absolutely the rudest. Yeah, I've never... I did... Like, hippos, they're pretty big dicks in real life. But hippos in this game... My God. Who hurt them? Just minding my own business. And they're like, I'm going to hip hop anonymous all over your face. Now I got to find the god dang thingy-maboob. Place thingy-maboob. Build thingy-maboob. Rename it to Hippo Land. To appease the hippo gods. And maybe we won't die. Alright. We need moderate curative potions. We need coral, essence dust, bones, and colorful glass. Which can eat my ass. Because I don't think we have any. We have amber to make colorful glass. Which Luxara crafted up for us. We're going to use this colorful glass. But we're going to make sure we provide her with all of the moderate curative potions. And farm up more. Because I don't want to sleep on the couch later. <laughs> okay, okay, we need coral. Bones. Essence dust. Check, check, checkity, checkity, check. We made 32 glass, I think, which means we need 32 coral. And 32 bones. Uh, Luca, I occasionally get that weird flicker as well. I don't know what causes it. It's definitely some kind of graphical bug. I don't know how to fix it. I have no idea. I'm sorry. What game is this? I don't know. I can't read either. Uh, Nicole, thank you for the super chat and the hippo super chat. Uh, try me. It's called Nightingale. It's a new survival crafting game on Steam that released on the 20th. <laughs> but no, I've had it. I get it at least once a day at random for no apparent reason. I have no idea how to fix it. That little graphical bug thing. The nice thing about this is we get a lot of potions uh, when doing this. So, I mean, right here is already 85 of them. The hippo super chat is so cute. There's a few of them, too. If anybody else feels so inclined. 105. That's 50 each. Also need to make healing so Oh, hello, Lydia! Welcome to being in my face. You know what? I'll take that over just disappearing into the ether. I 
need to get the speed fingers going. Double click. Oakley, freaking Doakley. I feel like there should be a higher level healing salve. I don't know why that's not in the game. Uh, it should be, though. Oh, lit that lady is on fire. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. The screen flash could be a GPU RAM buffering issue. That makes sense. I don't know how any of that works or how to fix that, but it makes sense. I'm not going to use the rest of these resources. I'm going to put them in a box here. Y'all are witnessing it now. Colored glass, bones, coral, all going in here. I will not get in trouble for using all of that amber. I will farm up more right now. How do I have so much coral? Did I click that button that many times? There's no way. There's no way I clicked that 140 times. Do we get four coral each buy? There's no way. Do we? Where'd regular coral go? Am I blind? Mm, baby, come back. Coral. Bye. One. I did not click it that many times. There's no way. I feel like something's horribly broken here. Anyways, I'm gonna split these. I'm gonna put 55 in here. So it's 55 healing potions. And then I have 50. I don't know why they won't stack. And that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Absolutely great, completely normal. I'm gonna put some healing salves in here. And now, ladies and gentle people of the interwebs, we are ready to rock and freaking roll. After, perhaps, I make a second gazpacho. Because more gazpacho, better person. Alright, so I have blueberry salad already. We have oil. We need to make broth. Because <sighs> all the gazpacho means all the awesome. Which means I need I'm on fire! Broth, 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 broth. Broth, 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 broth. Bullets! Ah, yes! Oh, th thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. My brain is just fried. Looks too complicated. It's really not that bad. I'm making it... Actually, it is It is a very, very complicated game, and that's what I love about it. Um, I just have had a long day, and it's 9 o'clock at night, and sometimes by that point in time, like life, life is just hard in general, you know? I already have... What kind of... Ooh, that's double blueberry gazpacho. That might not stack depending on... Uh, I'm going to make sure I make stuff that stacks. We're going to use marigold, water spinach... That's a hundred? My god, why would they let me do that? We're gonna make eight. What? 
It is complicated to start, but when you get the game, it's so satisfying. It really, really, really is. I cannot recommend the game enough. Ignore the butthurt reviews of always, uh, always online. Imagine it's an MMO, and then, uh, then you're good to go. It's an MMO with single player is the way the game should be described right now. All right, mixed plants want her spinach. Right there, we can put these spices away. The reviews are pretty upsetting, not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, it's it's literally being review tanked because of no offline mode. Which is kind of sad because the game has legitimately good online features. Like, when you compare this to most early access rev like games where the servers barely work, the servers work great. Everything works great. Everything functions great. And the narrative is no offline. It is... Oh, this one only has 420. Interesting. Okay. Did not spend enough time trying to make that one. Once you get to the hub, it's kind of like an MMO, honestly. Yeah, I mean, they, they basically made, like, a survival game MMO that you can play solo or you can play with other people. And when you get to the end game, then you can play with other people. It's a really great concept. <laughs> it honestly makes me really mad. I absolutely love this game. Oh my god, I have so much stamina. I don't think I could get more excited than the amount of excitement I'm feeling right now as my stamina bar is going to be above 1,000. Okay, reopen. How much stamina? Right? Oh! 964 stamina. Wait a second! Consume. <laughs> 1,003 stamina! Actually, respect the devs more because they developed the, the online connection first. Yep. Yeah. They took all of the things... I've talked about this a lot. They, they looked at all of the failures of past games. And, and I mean this very... They, they took all the failures of past games. And they made sure that those failures were not going to be in their game. Unfortunately, that means some other quality of life things were missed out. Like crafting from storage. Uh, simple, like, simplization of the UI. The UI still needs a little bit of work. Um... But the core foundation of the game that most people complain about is really, really polished. So, I don't know. Go take a short rest. Oh my god, Stoli! Stoli guacamole! I'm gonna build a bed inside the, uh... The thingamaboober up there. Isn't this game early access? Yeah, yeah it is. I don't know. I feel like this game has a ton of potential. Falls short in in a in it definitely falls short in a few to potentially many aspects. But none of those aspects are are not able to very easily and quickly be remedied, if that makes sense. Oh my god. I will murder you! I already murdered your whole family. Don't even threaten me with a good time. I will I'm gonna murder your baby, but I'm gonna make you watch me murder your hippo baby. Come here. I'm about to be a hippo serial killer right now. Where's the baby? Oh, it's so lucky it's quick and squirrely. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy upon my hippo soul. Mm. Lydia, run.
What you gonna do with that big hippo butt? Uh, no, it's uh, PC only at the moment. Although you can play it on GeForce now and uh, other thingamaboobers like that. Oh my god. It does not help that I only have entry level gear so far still. So I'm really plowing into the end or to the mid game with early game stuff still. Oh, but Lydia out here clapping cheeks. I'll tell you what. What you gonna do when the hippos come for you? Bad hippo, bad hippo. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Two. Three. Four. No crafting from storage, though. That's rough. Well, welcome to 99.9% .9 of survival games. They've already announced that that was going to be their priority until everyone complained about no offline mode. This game really does need it, though. I'm not, like, saying that to, uh... Like, this... That should... With, with the complexity of the crafting, that should have been their number one priority. I don't know how that was an oversight. But it is coming to the game. I have an email from a couple weeks ago that it's supposed to be coming pretty soon as well. I don't know if those plans have changed because of the oh no offline mode stuff though. Oh my god, I'm about to get Clapasaurus Rexed. Oh lord hath mercy upon my soul, that is way too many sword boys! You drop an advanced lacunas. You dirty... Dirty, dirty boy. These sword guys really suck when you can't block. I cannot block right now because of the weapon that I'm using. Shoot. <laughs> I love when an enemy runs in front of a, a bullet. Uh, to die. It, it's probably one of my most favorite things in life in general when playing video games. Like, the unfortunate nature of that happening. Lydia! <laughs> what happened? She got clapped. Lacunas, Lacunas. Ooh, cast iron pot. Nice. Okay. Lacuna ingots are really, really, really good. Uh, but advanced Lacunas being way better. Okay, so we need to go to the Essence Trader down there. There's a couple things we can do along the way, though. Oh, God, I broke it. Oh, man. Uh, I think my mistake while playing certain games is I always spend too much time getting the highest level armor and weapons so I can easily defeat enemies. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That's just a uh, you know, gameplay style. And you can do that in this game. It's just... The crafting can be pretty complex. Oh, shit. I missed. Oh, God. I mean, I hit it, but I didn't hit it the where I wanted to. No scope, baby! Oh!
Like it's ridiculous that people review bombed. I mean, eh, it is what it is. I mean, to be fair, the game is not without its its fair complaints, but. Mm, tulips. Oh man, those dudes are here. Oh sweet, I just finally got the steam trunk that I needed. Do you have any thoughts on the in development light no fire? I mean, I, I can't really, because we don't know anything about it. Oh my god, Hip Hop Anonymous is back! Oh, uh, the only thing that I can really say about that is there's a lot of people on the internet giving that game flack because of No Man's Sky. Uh, but what I have to say about that is there is no company I would trust with a game more than the company that made No Man's Sky after the effort that they have shown on making that game a truly amazing game and fulfilling what they promised for the last, what, five years? Constantly providing massive updates, making the game truly amazing and still providing free updates to everybody. There's not a single company out there that I would trust more and give money to than Hello Games right now. When it comes to, I mean, anything really. Uh, so far, aside from that, there's not really much else I can say. Because we just don't know anything. Why is my jump mechanic not working like it usually is? Okay, so I did have thoughts. I mean, <laughs> I have thoughts on the developer. I just don't have thoughts on the game. Because I just don't know. Tea and crumpets and lunar nectar. Ooh. Right, so we got the shack basic set now. We got the frying pan. Uh, refinement. Ah, the blacksmith's hearth. That's what I've been looking for. Perfect. Actually, there's a lot of things here. Oh, lunar nectar is here as well. I'm going to have to mess with the lunar nectar a little bit. There was actually a lot of things we needed here. Good lord. Alright, what am I doing on Essence? 231. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Let's go work on the house. I had everything I needed. I agree. They could have walked away and said, whatever, we got your money. But they didn't. They did the right thing and put some icing on top. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. They fulfilled on what they wanted to make and then have constantly, multiple times a year, come out with very large free updates. Have never charged a single cent more for anything other than the base game. Which you do not see. Anyway, so yeah, I guess I had some thoughts. Ah, <laughs> uh, Luisa, I hope you have a wonderful night. All right, have to post on Discord because I forgot. Yeah, they even offered full VR support and didn't charge more. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Same game does not cost more money. Ooh, rebuilding that did work. Well, buttereth my butt and call me a biscuit. Mm. Okay. All right, so we got those things that we needed, which is basically everything that I needed out of that area. We're going to reset this portal. 
Um, so, that being said, if we go to Guidebook, to Traders, uh, Gloom Swamp should provide us with more of the shack. I just kind of want to, I want to mess around with the, the changing of these things. We got resting, a metal framed cot, a bare sconce, and a vile display. Yes. Yes. Weighted eminent, tempest eminence, charm, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're going here. A gloom swamp. i put that back to medium. To Schmedium. Continue the chaos. Did you find Basket Coon? I did find Basket Coon. Uh, short nap, yes. Thank you for the reminder. I did find Basket Coon. And I also found Trunk Coon. So, pretty, pretty solid day, if I do say so myself. Uh, that being said, we still have a lot of different things we need to bring over there. Uh, but we are working on a house. We have, I have a pretty nice setup, I think. I would like to also find a better uh, furniture, crafting refinement. Gloom Essence Trader. Desert Gloom. Hmm. There's like a shelf that I want. I'm assuming that comes from a hunt realm. Yes, it does. Rumpled Breaches. Who wants Rumpled Breaches? In what world does that sound comfy? Oh, advanced walls comes from Hunt Realm. Okay. Intriguing. Furniture shelving and the colossal shelf comes from there. Well, god dang it. I ain't getting that till tomorrow. Not unlocking Hunt tonight. We're uh, not making any progress. So me and Lexara have promised each other we will not make actual progress in the game without each other. Which is part of the reason why I spent those two streams uh, playing on the other account. Before making progress on this one. Rumpled like wrinkly? I think so. Mm -mm -mm. A good old gloom realm. Ooh, this is actually where I need to go. Uh, this house has good resources. Ah, we gotta go get our stuff first. Gotta go live our dreams. Over yonder. It's like not watching a series ahead of your partner. Exactly. Really hope I'm going the right direction. Okay. What the heck? Oh, Lord hath mercy upon my soul. I need to make a good knife. I'm sick of getting clapped out here in the wilderness. Just trying to live my life in the gloomy, swampy swamps. Some bold dookie. Yes, my husband never waits for me before he starts or catches up on a series. We're pretty good about that. Like, we really, really, really enjoy watching uh, stuff together. So, uh, it's pretty much if we start something together, then we know that we do not continue watching a single episode without each other. If we start watching something on our, on our own, whole different rule set. All right, upper floor, advanced roofs. A vial display we definitely need. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're gonna go directly south, and we're gonna do anything on the way, because I need more essence. Ooh! Funky tree, dude! We don't have high enough level stuff to gather anything from that tree, but... Good to know it exists. The worst is when I watch a show on my own and my husband sees some episodes and I have to wait to watch it with him. Just watch just watch the old episodes with him. It creates good conversation. That's what we do. If I start something and I get three episodes in and I'm like, I really want to watch all of this, then I'm like, okay. You have to sit down and watch this. <laughs> And if she likes the first episode, then I watch the rest of the episodes with her. Uh, because it, it's kind of like an added bonus. I get to kind of see some things that I didn't recognize in the first few episodes or something like that. She does the same thing with me, though. I do that, too, but I'm home alone all day by myself, so I wait for him when he's back from work. That makes sense. You do want things to, like, to be able to watch things while you're home alone. That's when I just find a new series. <laughs> and I just, I watch that, that new series. <laughs> or play video games. There you go. Where is the Prezi? Sounds like it's over there. Definitely sounds like it's over here. Yep. Mm, the elegant sconce. That gave 72 essence. Wow, that's insane. Can always spend four hours mining mining salt in the desert. You know you're going to need it anyways. Ain't that the freaking truth right there. My god. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing right now. Is uh, Since me and Lexara don't want to make progress without each other, like I'm basically grinding up resources for... Uh, for us for tomorrow. Oh. Hushni, have a wonderful night. Oh yeah, designated survivor did get uh ended early. I just uh I just finished watching Warrior on Netflix though. That was pretty good. Really hoping it gets renewed. I feel bad for the cast. Apparently it's like their third time getting, well, second time getting canceled, third time hoping to get renewed. Uh, but the same thing happened to Lucifer, so I'm hoping. So I really liked Warrior. I, I really, really, really liked it. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out. What's the premise of Warrior? Uh, so apparently when Bruce Lee was alive, um, he had a bunch of writings, and uh, essentially Warrior is based on the writings of Bruce Lee. Uh, but it's based in the 1880s um, in San Francisco uh, in Chinatown. And it, it kind of goes through the process of the Tong Wars in China. Or in, in Chinatown, rather. Where it's basically a bunch of... Uh... So, there's a difference between Tong and like, tr and like a triad. So, triads are very specifically criminal organizations. Tongs were both criminal and like uh, true businesses. Uh, it was in the 1880s. The 1880s. So this was back in the olden times. Uh, so it was when um, the Chinese were immigrating to the United States a lot. Uh, so it has a lot to do with the, you know, kind of like the, the hate crimes to the Chinese when they were immigrating to the U.S. Um, but more, I mean, it focuses on both of the, the hate of the Chinese and the like, the rivalry between the Chinese and the Irish immigrants uh, trying to, like, basically compete for work. And then uh, the Tong Wars, which were competing for relevance within Chinatown. So it's, it's kind of got a whole bunch of different levels of nuance to the show. It's actually really, really good. 
<laughs> New Power World update just mentioned in Discord. Changes and fixes looking great. Ooh. It's 10 o'clock. Yep. Okay. They announce the updates the same time every day. I actually want to look at those. Um, holy crud. Uh, okay. So what do we got? Steam and Xbox patch. Major fixes. Implemented backup of save data on the world selection screen. Resolved issues of unnecessary data accumulation and save data. This should save our multiplayer server which is why I did not do anything with it. Added fully supported keyboard key configuration. Modify it specific. Allow guild members to remove when not logged in. Player issues. Pals. Fix an issue where paste pals would get stuck on top of logging sites. Hmm. Significantly strengthen minor power of dig toy. Mining power of dig toys partner scalp. Nice. So they buffed dig toys. Fix the abnormally high selling price of nails. <laughs> you losers. Significantly increase the number of police officers who appear when a crime is committed. That's fun. Add electric shock effect to free pal alliance crossbow. God dang. Adjusted the flight distance of sphere launcher and scatter sphere launcher. Network related. Renovated the server lobby. Ooh, server name search will now work. Add the ability to view online players on a dedicated server. It looks really good. It looks good. Haunted Mermaid, thank you for the six months. I'll have to record a video on that tonight before I go to bed. I'll probably release it in the morning though, cause uh, no reason to rush and release it tonight. Haunted Burmaid, thank you for the six months. Sounds like Gangs of New York, but with China involvement. Exactly. Imagine Gangs of New York, but a TV show. And there's three seasons of it currently on Netflix. Uh, but yeah, no, it's very... It's Gangs of New York with incredibly good uh, like fight scenes. Like it's, it's very kung fu related. The fight scenes are magnificent. There is a lot of gore. <laughs> Uh, it gets pretty gory at times, but um, it's really, 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 really good TV show. Don't watch it with your kids is what I'm trying to say. It was also made on Cinemax and HBO, so you can kind of guess the other type of content that is in that TV show. Mm-mm-mm. Steamy. <laughs> yeah. It's the same type of HBO -y stuff where, like, the first couple of episodes are steamy. I don't know why. And then it goes to, a, like, a normal TV show after that. It's stupid. I don't, I, don't, I, don't under, I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got to hook the Neanderthals with the steamy stuff, and then it then it gets them hooked on the actual TV show. I guess maybe I think that's probably the logic behind it. Oh, Stoli B, me too, me too. Baits you in hope for hoping for more steamy, I guess. Oh shoot, that's not good. I didn't mean to insta clap him. Dang it. Oh, we're about to have a bad day. Oh god. The big hammer dudes become super squirrely dudes of death if you uh, if you get them to a certain amount of HP. Oh god. It's not bad when you uh, when you do it right, but when you do it the wrong way, it gets it goes really bad really quick, especially when there's a lot of them. Gotta sell those pilots somehow, right? Dude sees Bob's invested in show. Bob's increase view numbers. 
I mean, that's why you see all that stuff on social media and all that stuff, too. Craziness. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Okay, so we got some essence. Yeah, we're doing good. Alright, I feel really good about this. We got... We already went to... The essence trader. We did that. There's really not a good group of defense towers anywhere, so I'm not going to bother exploring this one. Designated survivor was so weird because it went from cable to network so suddenly they're swearing and having sex on screen like what? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I work and lurk while skits and slowly play just because the ambient sounds of the head bunks bring me much dopamine during work. There you go. What you gonna do? We gotta build a house now, baby. I skip so much steamy stuff in shows. It's honestly a waste of time. I don't know. I saw a quote on Netflix from somebody recently. I think it was uh, uh, Dude McBro and stuff. Superman. He was saying, like, it's honestly just a big waste of time in shows. Like, honestly, it is. It's like, can we get back to the story, please? I really don't care. Right here, nobody cares. Where's the cats? Put more cats in shows. A fun fact about the Tong Wars in San Francisco, they would make fight event posters for when and where they would fight. The police just never bothered to learn the language, so they never knew. That was actually part of one of the episodes. And I just noticed my rainbow corgi, Gem Blossom. Thank you for the 24 months, you wonderful, wonderful bean. Game of Thrones really perpetuated things. I mean, Game of Thrones is like the least of the transgressors. And the problem is Games of Thrones was incredibly popular. But like, look at games like shows before that, like Hung, um, the vampire one. The vampire one. I wish I had a better name for the vampire one. <laughs> Hung and True Blood. Yeah, exactly. Do, 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 do. The thing is, just like, uh, True Blood was incredibly popular, but not anywhere near as popular as Game of Thrones was. But even Game of Thrones did away with that eventually. And just Hung a Giggity. <laughs> it. It pretty much is. <laughs> uh, I think it's... I, I can't remember. It's it's such an old show. Um, I think it was like a school teacher or something like that. That, you know, hung like a horse and decided to be a prostitute. Because <laughs> he just couldn't make money any other way. The vampire one. Dun, dun, dun. Exactly. I didn't know what Hung was about when I first caught it. <laughs> I had no business watching it. Oh, no. Oh, like that one dude on Disney Channel, apparently? Wait, what? I don't think we need to know this information. A basket coon rides again. Right? Where am I going right now? Basket Kun is lost. <laughs> but then there was also, um... Uh, Californication was exactly the same way. Uh, which is also a great show. 
Okay, so we've got our house. The house of houses. I really wanted to keep these bad boys alive, but I think due to necessity, we're going to leave them. Yeah. The house doesn't have to be perfectly even, right? Uh, so let's see. We got a bunch of new building materials. We've got Tudor. We've got Schwamp. Or we got Shack, which looks kind of nice. We got Desert, which we didn't unlock all the desert pieces, but I am kind of curious to see what the ceilings look like this time. It's only carved stone, which is way easier to make. Oh my god. Way easier to make than what I've been making with the... F oh my god. I can't, I'm kind of curious. So, then we've got Lumber and Plant Fiber. Interesting. So Tudor is the biggest pain in the ass to make out of all of this stuff, by far. Interesting. I don't know how to feel about that. Tudor is by far the biggest pain in the butt to make because of the bricks. So the problem I'm having here is I have one side that's thicker and one side that's thinner. Because I can't do the same... You know what? Does it matter? I don't think it does. You really like the desert zone? I think we're gonna, we're definitely going to mess with it for sure. Why is that in there? Oh, okay, that's why. Cool. All right, so let's start working on a couple of different things. That doesn't matter. We're going to fix that in a second. I've also just started watching So Help Me Todd. I'm assuming it's been canceled. But it doesn't change the fact that I've actually really enjoyed the first season that I watched so far. What the hell just exploded? Did y'all see that? What network was it on? Uh, CBS, I think. Oh, shoot. We actually very much need to bring the other stuff over here. Season 2 of So Help Me Todd just started back. Oh! Okay, so the show is, the show is still going. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. That's actually really good to know. I felt like I was getting invested in something that wasn't going to exist, which I've been doing a lot lately. And it's upsetting. I don't know why this sometimes bugs out where it doesn't work anymore. Ugh. Still upset about Firefly? We all should still be upset about Firefly. Everything is canceled nowadays, so to start anything. It's because all of the... <laughs> it's because every single network is trying to copy Netflix and failing miserably at it. Uh, so they can't afford to keep TV shows going anymore. It's honestly hilarious, but terrible all at the same time. Uh-oh. I think I just realized what might have exploded. It was Basket Coon 2.0 that might have exploded. All right. We know how to fix this. It was definitely Basket Coon 2.0 that exploded. Shoot. Even Netflix cancels a show after a season or two. Well, I mean, you got to think about it, though. Like, it's, it's super unfortunate, but it's just... <sighs> People spend... They're, they're spending way too much money on shows nowadays. It's just... 
unsustainable. No, not son of basket coon. <laughs> Ooh, starting animes that are waiting for more uh, manga to be made. Yeah, that happened with me with uh, Black Clover. And then also with that time I got reincarnated as a slime. <gasps> Basket Coon's son of Basket Coon is back. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Yep, we Gucci. Read solo lovely. I'm gonna be honest, I started watching the anime, didn't really enjoy it that much. Basket code! I only watched one at like the first episode of solo leveling though. I also chose the weirdest names of anime. So, yeah. Like, uh, so Lexara and I, 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 <laughs> I was in the middle of a stream and Lexara was watching an anime. She was four episodes deep by the time I got done with the stream. I didn't even get to watch the first. We never even went back to watch the first few episodes. Uh, but it was, I'm going to look up the name cause it's a weird name. But I'm starting to realize the weird name, like, anime is really, really good. It's, um, a... Well, it's a long name. Okay. This is the title of it. It's got a 4.8 on Crunchyroll right now. It's a brand new anime this season. Really good. It's called The Weakest Tamer Began a Journey to Pick Up Trash. It's a very sweet, endearing, good anime. I absolutely love it. We look forward to all the new episodes every week. See how these don't have noises? Basket Coon is broken. So we're going to take all the items out of Basket Coon. We're going to put them in here, and we're going to put them in here. And then we're going to remove Basket Coon. And then we're going to remake Basket Coon. Actually. All right, we're going to remake... Chess coon. <laughs> what even is life anymore? Like, I just don't even know, you know? Do you know? Because I sure don't. Give me my gazpacho! Dirty little game. Stealing all my gazpacho. I thought so. Solo Loving was another uh, overhyped garbage like Tokyo Ghoul and ATOT. It's really good and the manhwa is finished as well. The manga is finished as well. Interesting. I'll have to get into it. Um, I just haven't been able to as of yet. But I will. If it's a good anime, I'm going to end up watching it. And that's just the way the anime cookie crumbles, so to speak. Where art thou, Desert Stairs? All right, Desert Stairs require bricks, which I have in spades. 
How orange are they? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with that. I kinda like the way that looks. We're mixing parts today, ladies and gentlemen. We Lexar is gonna wake up tomorrow to a chateau. Okay. That is the plan. She's gonna wake up to a glorious house with plants. Manhua, solo leveling is Korean. Okay, I didn't know that. How am I supposed to know that? I thought it was a typo. My bad. You live and you learn, ladies and gentlemen. You live and you learn. Chateau de Thickums. Indeed. Indeed. All right, we need stone blocks 30. Oh. <laughs> Very few good Korean animes out there. It's really interesting, though. I love checking out new stuff, so I will very, very much be checking it out. Uh, the problem here, I think, is I want to make sure I'm gonna use I'm gonna use crude stuff on the outside of this, just because I think it's gonna take more than I really want to waste resources of bricks. Bricks are just they're so oppressively expensive to make. Sadly, the author never got to see his story get turned into an anime as he passed away. Oh, that's super sad, actually. I hope his fam is his family at least making money from it. If his family's not making money from it, I'm not going to watch it. Which I would not be surprised that that would be the case. I suddenly got sucked into Korean dramas. It made me relive some of my youth with my abuela in the tele uh, the telenovela days. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. So chateau. Is on the way. The question is, oh, I have an idea. Oh, I have a mighty fine idea right now. Mm-hmm. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the tutor, because this is all going to be interior stuff. So the foundation bits, that's not the right button. Tutor stairs. You want to swiggity swooty turn around that stair booty maybe a little bit? Kind of? Sort of? No? Okay, screw you then. Hope you die in a fiery hell. Bitcoin 56,000. Don't worry, it'll crash again. It is about time, though. I was actually telling my friend... <laughs> I was actually telling my friend not too long ago that there was going to be one more dip and then a massive, massive tank, or basically one more dip in Bitcoin and then a massive rise in Bitcoin. So let's see here. More five-year... So we need... <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Man. That means the freaking... Uh... It's an angle of roof, that's why. Um... The crypto bros are going to be coming out in droves again saying how amazing crypto is. 
gonna be a great few months. It's gonna be awesome. Hundred and fifty K Bitcoin next year. Oh, you're hilarious. My bet is it makes it to eighty K and then it's gonna tank back down to thirty K. So enjoy the ride while you can. Alright, so we need poles for that. But see the problem is it's not quite high enough. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So we got plenty of room for everything that we need here. So what I want to start doing is I want to actually start building the walls. We've got all the resources for all the walls already. Just wish you had bought some years ago when it's $35. The problem is, everybody's always like, yeah, I wish I had bought some years ago. But you would have you would have ended up selling it anyways. When it got to like $200, you would have been like, oh my god, I just made so much money. And you would have sold it. Like, there are very few people that hold on to any kind of stock or, for that matter, really anything for a long period of time. So... Don't waste your time worrying about coulda, shoulda, woulda. Because there ain't no way you would have held through all of the turmoil of the last couple of years anyways. So, just not worth your time thinking about. Alright, so we got dangle wall. I think what I want to do is I want to make this like a lofted area here. Then, how is that going to look? It takes diamond hands. <laughs> Ain't nobody got those. We'll do some windows. Windows will be good up here. Do two windows. We'll do this. Make a nice little entry area to the house. Oh my god. Urbo, turbo, freaking burbo. what it do? I mean, heck, there was a point in time where I invested in uh, crypto just before Elon did. I bought it at like, I think it was like 16K or something like that. Yeah. And then I sold. <laughs> it was it was when I was working on uh, the, the R-Sky company. And I made fun of everybody for still holding on to it after I had sold it. And lo and behold, I was right. <laughs> and, uh. I don't know. Watched a whole bunch of people lose a ton of money. Mm -hmm. You're officially a cat mom. Oh, hell yeah. You done leveled up. How have you been? It's good to see you. Definitely want some good light in here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. I don't know how I want to do the entrance yet. I kind of want to make it like a lofted, a lofted area. So I think what we'll do, it's going to require a lot of resources to make this because we don't have half walls. If we had half walls, life would be much easier than it is. But unfortunately, it's not. Mm. You know what? It's going to flow better if we actually do that the right way. where what we do we'll do a window for light which means we're going to need beams and we're going to do this and this mm 
So I think that'll look good. And then we can use beams to kind of flesh it out a little bit. So we can do beam. And then we'll do beam and beam and beam. Then we'll use the double beams. <laughs> is there such a thing as a hypoallergenic cat? Yeah, there is. Uh, so uh, any th any kind of cat mixed with a wild cat is hypoallergenic. Um, so even the furriest of cats, which is the... Um, what's the big furry cat? So bangles are hypoallergenic. There is the... Um, What's the giant furry cat? I don't know why I'm struggling to remember the name of it. All of a sudden. Um, really struggling, actually. Maine Coon. Thank, thank you. Maine Coon. <laughs> I remembered it as you were saying it. Uh, Maine Coons are hypoallergenic. Which is a surprise to many people because they are so furry. <clears throat> Ooh, actually, I don't want to do that. I want this to be a porch. Along with this. So we're going to do... Gonna be a lot of resources right here. Tell you what. Alright, so right now we're looking at 144 lumber, two poles, and 88 beams. Sweet baby Jesus. actually not that bad so far all things considered all right yeah so let's head back to the uh, to the house because we still have to do some other things want a main coon so bad I have a rag doll right now um, Luxar actually has rag dolls. They're actually super great cats. Very vocal, very cuddly. What? Uh, why? She was, uh, she was a stray I was taking care of. We went missing for 16 days, and when she came back, we think she got stuck somewhere. Just had her inside since. Aww. Okay, so we need... Shoot, we need a bunch of stuff. I think I'm going to start moving everything down to the other place. And I'm going to do this in an intelligent way, okay? I know, it's going to baffle you all. It's going to be great. Um, what we're going to do... Is condense all of this stuff. Not all of it, most of it. We're going to condense some of this stuff. In some kind of intelligent manner. Whose clothing did I steal? I stole somebody's clothing. My bad. Whoops. Basically, we're going to get rid of all the things that... We, ooh, that's advanced fiber. We're going to save that. Extract. Um, so your inventory gets full due to... Items, not necessarily weight. So the goal is to kind of take everything into our inventory, extract what we don't need. 
uh, to remove a lot of the unnecessary items. Just like that. I'm going to do this multiple times until we can condense most things into a single box. Not going to use those. We both aren't going to use a shotgun, so we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of the bad food that we have. And you'd be surprised how quick you can kind of condense inventories. I mean, even in this, we got brown bound bristle, which we're not going to use. We got all sorts of stuff in here that's not really good. Tier 1 bound bristle. We're going to keep the advanced stuff. We're going to get rid of any tier 1 things that we're not going to use anymore. And shoot, even tier 2. Because we're going to be upgrading to solely tier 3, which I'm going to be farming up tonight. We'll keep the twine, we'll keep that, we'll get rid of the dahlia. I can always get all of this fiber back really quickly. We got chitin, which is poopy. Not too bad. When we retired, Helen, I really hope it doesn't mean like sending a dog to a farm. We, the way we retired, I didn't mean to retire Helen like that, but we kind of did. Like, oops. <laughs> but we definitely maybe kind of sort of did do that. Did we want to do that? Absolutely not. But did it end up happening? Maybe. Maybe. You know? Hmm. It sounds like the afternoon stream was a good time. It was something. What did you do to Helen? I unrecruited Helen. Which traditionally means that Helen gets to hang out around the house, you know? She's retired, but still has a home. What ended up happening, though, however... Different story. What ended up happening was... Um, Helen died. Exploded and left all of her inventory on the ground. So there's that. Juro, what's going on? How are you doing? I think she somehow kind of like apparated into nothingness and then left a chest behind. I think what happened was she got super angry and uh, decided to just leave the entire realm behind, which is fine, you know? She had that right. So is she dead? Maybe. Is she alive? Also still maybe. Is it my fault? Kind of, maybe, sort of, a little bit. But she could very well still be alive. We just don't know. And that's not my fault. <laughs> oh, boy. Advanced wick. We want to keep that. Uh tier one harpy we can get rid of we'll put that in there how am i still encumbered how am i still cucumbered who hurt me you know what mm. 
Yeah, it's Schrodinger's Helen. Is she alive? Is she dead? I don't know. We can't check the code, though. We don't know until we look at the code. So we just don't look at the code, and she's alive and dead at the same time until further notice. Yep, so it's Schrodinger's Helen. And there's nothing we can do about it. All right, so we've almost got everything kind of packed up and ready to go. Luxar is going to be very distressed when she logs in. So pray for me, ladies and gentlemen. Pray for me. <laughs> I'm just going to wake up homeless. Naked. Afraid. Can you explain Basket Coon now? Uh, yeah, so what we're doing right now is we have put all of our lively possessions inside of this chest, right? So Basket Coon, imagine this chest, but a basket version of this with resources that I spent two days making. Two days. And when I say two days, I mean like I spent a good... I spent two days maybe like four hours total gather, gathering all of the resources to build a house. And we had to tear down the house and we put all of those materials into one basket. And um, you can do this thing where you put materials or items inside of a thing, inside of a basket or chest, and you can, you can move it just like we are right now. And so we moved it from this location over to our new house location but apparently when you move something that far, there's something in the server that makes it disappear for a little bit. We didn't know that. So the first time we tried to move an item, a very long... A very... We just got basket cooned. Oh, shoot. Ooh, we got basket cooned hard. Uh, okay, we just broke something really bad. Um, ooh, I think we just lost a lot of stuff. Anyways, the basket disappeared. And we were very upset about this for a, for a minute. Anyways, we found a bug is what happened. Um, and we might have just found a second bug. And anyways, everybody... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody started calling it basket coon because <laughs> I couldn't find it because it disappeared. And then it reappeared at random on the cliff that I put it on like a couple minutes later and we named it basket coon. And then I lost it again. Sky, what it do? How are you doing? You wonderful bean. Anyways, we have chess coon 2.0 here. Late night stream? Oh, it is a late night stream. Well, you're an hour behind me, so you're not doing too bad right now. I know what time you got to wake up in the morning, though. What you doing right now? Did you just get done streaming? Here's hoping that that baby reappears. That old baby. Basket Coon was the most important character in the game for a while. It really was. Because Basket Coon... Had everything. I mean, this whole house. You worked 11 hours today? Oh my god, what did you do? Who hurt you? I saw something that said to turn night mode on because bugs are attracted to light, but like coding bugs. Oh my god. Justice for Helen. I. F when I initially read that, I read it as just a... You don't even want to know. <laughs> My job. Oh, no. I am so sorry. Mm -hmm. Wait, were you watching the stream earlier while at your job, Sky? It's okay. You're safe here. Ah! Uh!
Sky, when did you join the stream? Did you join the stream when Chesscoon exploded on me? Are you cursing me from Texas? Ma'am. Because things were going fine there for a hot second. Basket coon, why? So, long story short, the reason I'm streaming solo tonight is one, obviously we were sick the past two days. The second reason is uh, Lexara may or may not have wanted to, to move the base to this location because of how much of a pain in the butt it would be. But, but me, being the stubborn idiot that I am, was like, I got this. I'm a strong, independent man. I don't need no woman. And uh, this is my life now. Basket coon. Boop, 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 boop. You were sick? Yeah, no, I, I, I am... <laughs> Uh, both not feeling particularly great, but, but we're doing good. I'm doing good. All right. So beams 88. All right. We're going to go tear down the rest of the stuff at the other house. And then we're coming back. Why do I have no stamina? Right. Uh, I need to sleep. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Is there weight like in Power World? Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a it's a video game. Of course, there's weight. I currently have a weight of one. It's not nearly as oppressive as Power World, though. Oh my god, Power World's weight system is by far the most oppressive weight system. I'm pretty sure the developers were like, okay, they were like in in some in some kind of meeting. They're like, how much should we make stuff weigh? Like, how bad do we want to make this? And there was, like, some new intern that was like, let's make it the most oppressive weight system ever made. It's going to leave our mark on history. And the rest of the team was like, that's the best idea I've ever heard. So imagine that, but the opposite with this game. You're going to have to make a, a thumbnail with a basket with an animal face. Look, as you all have probably realized over the past five years, I am not good at making thumbnails. <laughs> but we do have an umbrella that looks like hammered ass, by the way. Look how grungy this umbrella made. Or... <laughs> God. Look how grungy this umbrella looks. I'm constantly overweight, even with a 400 pound weight limit. It, it can get rough. You got to utilize your, your followers, which I have not been doing. But should be doing. So, like, I should be equipping Lydia with all of my, my heavy stuff. Which I'm going to do momentarily. Oh, that's the last chest we need. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, snap. Like, look how much stuff we just put in our inventory. You can't do that in Pal World. That's that's the kind of game we're playing right now. But the thing that this game doesn't have that Power World does have is inventory crafting, which is coming to this game. It's just not in the game yet, but it will be. And I blame Sky. Why do we have two basic saw horses in here? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I needed that bed. Baby, come back. Okay, now we're good.
All right, new house coming in hot. We are mildly perturbed by our inventory, but we've got a lovely human named Lydia here to take all of our stuff. Ma'am, what would you like to carry today? You're going to take all of this, all of that, some of this, some of thems, some of that. We Gucci? Yeah, we are. Okay, move. Okay, Sky didn't respond. We might be able to make this chest all the way to the new house without it bugging out. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good day. We got this. It's going to be fine. Watch your follow rebuild with all of your materials. It's a potential. It's a potential thing that might happen. Mm -mm. Lydia is upset about Helen. Probably. I mean, her previous, like the person she's replacing disappeared into the ether. Just like my stuff. <laughs> the silence. It's my face, really, that's making all of these problems. Let's be honest. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, to the new house. <laughs> so close, it's so far away. All right, now we got to log out one more again, and then we're good. I'm just glad we figured out the system here. So at one point, is setting a cairn and fast traveling with full pockets the less buggy option? <clears throat> Probably a while ago. If we're being honest with ourselves. Which I can be on occasion. What the? <laughs> it's too easy of an option for tag. You shut your face! With the truth! How dare you! Tag never takes the easy route for science. I mean, I say it's science, but really I'm just stubborn and sometimes not the smartest when I stream. Like, let's let's just be honest here. If we're if we're gonna be honest, let's be honest, you know? Right, where do my food go? Where art thou sustenance? I'm ashamed. I've never thought about the car in fast travel. Look, you could not be more ashamed than I am in this very moment. Okay? It's not possible. Also, we wanted to place the pet bed. Oh, it's so tiny. It's not the words most people want to hear. Rope and cloth. 
rope? I ain't got none of that. Alright, sticks. And a fiber. There's definitely something about like reading chat and streaming and the pressure of trying to make sure you get everything right while live at the same time uh, definitely causes some kind of uh, error, if you will. Some kind of brain error. All right, so we got a bed. We need to move this. We need to move this this way. Uh, we are going to start off by making a wonderful, wonderful... This is where storage crafting would make me so, so excited. So excited. But we don't have it. So, we will in the near future. But I need right now a refined saw table. It's called Stream Brain, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I want to make the wood and lumber next to each other. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Wait a second. Am I about to shit full-blown kittens? No, I'm not. Okay. Ooh, I felt like I was about to, though. I could feel it. And then we're going to put this over here, like so. Right? And then we're going to do... So y'all get to, to watch my my storage process alive. It's great. It's fantastic. If I had a large thingamaboob, I would totally do that right now. But I don't have a large thingamaboob. So we need lumber. We're going to get lumber first. It's going to unequip the umbrella because it's taking up half the screen. It makes me want to vomit. There we go. Lumber. I can't believe I started watching your streams almost four years ago. Thanks. I can't believe I watched, started watching this idiot four years ago and I'm still here. What's with the umbrella? I need the explanation. It's so we don't get wet, Sky. So there's actually, there's actually a couple different things for the umbrella. So the umbrella uh, prevents us from being wet. Uh, it also prevents us from getting hailed on, so we won't take damage. <laughs> don't don't LMAO me. <laughs> um, it also helps with when we're in the desert because <laughs> the desert is oppressive. But it's also a glider. So like if we jump off of this, we use the uh, the umbrella as a glider. See, look at that. So you unlock better umbrellas as you kind of go through the game. Ah, it's a, it's a little bit different than a glider, I guess, you know? A moist tag is no good. It's true. It's not good for nobody. Okay, storage. Storage. Okay, we got this. Gonna make it all the right direction or else I'm gonna lose my mind. And we're going to organize tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's the most exciting live stream you've ever seen in your entire lives. An organization live stream. We're out of... We need lumber, brass ingots, and leather. Are you saying... Are you Mary Tag Poppins? Maybe I am. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm living my lifelong dream of being Mary, Mary Tag Poppins. Lumber, where art thou? I swear to... Haze... Oh. 
I'm using tier three wood. I don't even care. Do not even care. All right, so for this we need blade mechanical gears. We've got all that. You don't need to moan at me. I know I'm cucumbered, okay? I know it. Why? How are you missing leather? I just did that. Uh, boop. Okay. Now we can start with the organization and everything else at the same time. So we need etched iron ingots, shafts, hammerhead, and a metal tip. We ain't getting none of that without a thingamaboob. So we're going to make a thingamaboob. Honestly, I recommend making multiple thingamaboobs because you're going to need them anyways. So we need for this thingamaboob... An ingot and a shaft. Six and three. Have you read the new patch for Pal World? I have. I will be making a video on it tonight before I go to bed. And then it will release tomorrow morning, probably. All right, we need ugh, lumber. I like how some of your plank fours up the stairs are pointing in a different- Don't! Tugboat! Don't screw me like this! At least take me out to dinner before you screw me like this! My god, what time is it? It's a I don't have energy for this tugboat. God dang it. Lydia, do you steal my wood? Of course you did. Dirty little thief. <laughs> OCD superpowers activated. God. Dang it. We're going to ignore it. As long as we can. Ooh, it's an etched iron ingot. That's bad news, bears. That means we need iron, which I don't... Alright, we're going to organize. We're organizing right now. So y'all can see my organization system in effect. So the way it works is raw, not raw, and doubly not raw. So ingots go up here. Technically, etched ingots should go up top. But I'm not doing that because we don't have enough ingots to fill up the second chest. So what I do is then I take things that ingots turn into and I put them up top and it makes life so much easier. How am I cucumbered? Uh, leave it there just to trigger people. Trust me, I've been doing that for years. It's great entertainment, but I never hear the end of it. How did that cucumber me so easily? Hmm. Intriguing. Right, so we need blade and mechanical gears, which we have already. They're up here. Mechanical gears and blades. Boink. Can you name the chests? Ah, pff, I don't know. That's above my pay grade, bud. I ain't got no idea. You really don't need to, though, if you set up your inventory the right way. You can? Look at that! Turns out you can, lo and behold. But once you get your inventory set up, like, just life is just so much easier. 
And we've been streaming the past couple days without having everything set up right. And it has been a bloody freaking nightmare. The storage is nice. Each shelf has a has a space, yeah. It's just crafting from your inventory is going to make life so much easier. Like, you're still going to want organization, but it's not going to become as prevalent. Alright, so this can all go in the wood section. Oh, so thick. <laughs> Definitely need that grappling. Okay, it's going to take us about 20 minutes. So anybody have any questions about the game while well, we take 15 minutes to get to this to the storage chest over here? You can rename the portals that can be crafted too. Super handy. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Oh my god. Look at the organization coming together. Does it make you excited? So the raw chest would be named Yamadikudas. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy upon my soul. Okay. All right, we've got these organized fully. Maximum organization. This is the most organized I have ever been in any video game ever. And I will continue to be this organized in this game for the rest of eternity. We need a fireplace. We need some light and we need some warmth. Uh, pebbles, what art thou? Uh, so Sky, you're gonna be checking out the uh, the game today. You nearly have to go to this level of organization. There's so many tiers of materials. There really is. And there's only going to be more because they're actually making more... Um, uh, more biomes, which means they're going to be more materials. And they really need to color code these materials because I will punch somebody in the face if they don't. Because sweet baby Jesus... I really don't want to have to hover over every single item and be like, is this tier one, two, three, four, five? I don't know. It's a very minor but major oversight. Who put car... I swear. I was, but I'm just sitting here watching you instead. Oh, no. So wait, were you going to stream it or just, just play it and, and have fun? Because at some point, I do want to actually make sure to play with everybody. Um, I just haven't gotten to, uh, to get to that point yet. Especially on this playthrough, because we've kind of been jumping around a lot, which I know has been a, a little bit of a pain to follow. All right, lumber. All right, before we do that, we need to do something smarter. Not sure yet. I need to finish Power World and Shrouded on stream. Oh, my Lanta. You got your hands full, ma'am. You might just play it for fun. That's that's a good idea. What the heck? Out. What? Lydia. What did you do? 
it's always good to have that one game that you play for fun. Like it's it's really really healthy to do that, especially when, like when you get into like content creation. Like I didn't do that for years, and I got to the points where I didn't even play video games like at all outside of live streaming. Like it was just just work, and that's not a healthy way to go about doing it. <clears throat> So we need beams again. I don't know how I lost the beams. Do that. Then we need double weird beam dude thing. There we go. Oh, the power world patch supposedly fixes the issues of memory leakage that kills the servers. Supposedly. It doesn't actually say that. But from my estimation, it should save the community server. Which means tonight, I'm going to wait to release it till tomorrow. But it should... In theory, work. Do structures deteriorate in this game? No. But you can accidentally one-shot them with your own weapons. Yeah, definitely having games to play for fun is good. I'm glad he found other things other than uh, than Ark. I'm like absolutely love Ark, but there are so many great survival games that translate to uh, to Ark to the Ark community pretty well. So I think it's really good, very good. I came back here for a reason, and I cannot for the life of me. Remember why I came here. Does anybody know? Hmm. The plot doth thicken. Oh, I wanted a transmuter. I wanted to bring the transmuter. Um, we're going to remove it. We're also going to remove these. Just in case, we're going to reset the portals on these, because I don't know. Then we're going to remake these two, too. And grounded almost every item had a chest. Then my OCD kicked in. I wanted them all, them all full. <laughs> that is when I needed to lay down. Oh my god. So I before this game released, I had a hundred hours in this game. Uh, so we played ten hours a day or more every day until the full release. The amount of chests that we had. Like, y'all never got to see any of the footage from that because I didn't release any of the tutorial videos or anything, but... And then I had to restart anyways, which was a big... Big bummer. That actually played a big part of why I didn't actually release tutorial videos for this. How many hours now? Uh, 142. So I haven't let up that much. I didn't play yesterday and I didn't play the day before other than streaming. Uh, we'll put the transmitter here. And we need to play a settler. I have a settler eminent card now though. So 42 since last Tuesday. Yeah, essentially. For lack of better terms. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to figure out where I want the enchanting stuff to be. I guess we'll do it... Here? So 
So we need etched ingots, carved wood, and lens. We have all of that stuff already. Ooh, I accidentally used all the etched ingots. Shoot. Did we make more? We did not! Because we're so good at our lives. Not bad since gaming is your full-time job. <laughs> That's fair. Oh shoot, I did. Um boop 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 boop. We need carved wood for. But doing an entire week of playing 10 to 10 or more hours a day to end up not making any videos on a game means we worked 70, actually we worked 100 hours and made no money from it. <laughs> so there's that. Actually, we worked 100 hours and made $92.50 from it, from one video. So whatever that math is, less than 90 cents an hour or something like that. Mm -mm. Storage. We need to make these bad boys right here. Do it, please. Thank you. So we need lumber, brass ingots, and leather again. So divided by two, that is 40 cents an hour. Living like it's the, uh, what is it? What would that be, like 1430s or something like that? So we've got leather and we need brass ingots, which are going to be in here. Perfect. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Ain't that the truth. You can't get an eye back. That's for sure. So we got to find all the different types of ink that we have, and we need to put that all in one nice little box for us. That's beams, which we need a metric buttload of. I think I just need to make more ink, is the moral of this story. Alright, so to make more ink, oh my god. Anyway, so y'all are kind of getting an in-depth look at the, uh, the entire game here. So we need to make some iron, which we have 44 of. We're going to play a industry card if we have one, which we don't. Oof, big oof. So we need coated paper and vibrant ink. 
I don't have any vibrant ink anywhere. The struggles are real. <laughs> it's not that bad, though. And we need gunpowder as well for this industry card, I think. Because we need to make a bunch of ingots. Uh, we're going to need steel ingots for a lot of different things. So I want to make sure that I that I do this right. Um, once we get the, the house kind of built and we work on getting the organization done, the game is going to flow so, so, so much unbelievably better. It's just kind of like this this entry part of the game where we have been moving base and stuff is, is a bit of a nightmare. Make two of these. I'm currently making so many chests that it looks like a warehouse from Indiana Jones. I mean, you know what? Part of me hates it, but part of me actually really likes it. Because that's exactly what I thought about when I was, when I was making all these chests uh, back when we were playing it. I was like, you know what? Like, especially with all the other augmentation things, like, in the decorating that you can do. I wasn't really hating it as much as I thought I would. So we need to also make a cleanse card. I think that's going to help problems that we've been having. Let's see if we can pop the industry card and have it work the first time. No. No, it does not. There's a bug with the realm, with the minor realm cards. Oh, it did work. Never mind. I mean, there is a bug with it, but it didn't happen that time. So this record, get out. move. So we need to make. Iron. Did that just say 18 minutes? Oh my god. Slap me in the face and call me Susie. Uh, what bug is that? So, if you go to play... So right now, if I went to play a new card, like the Weighted Eminent card, instead of this card being played and overwriting the Industry card, the Industry card will stay... And then I'll have to play the settler, like, so I'll play this weighted card. It won't overwrite the industry card. And then what I then need to do is play, say, another random card. Like, I use garbage cards, like the feast card. And then, finally, the card that I actually wanted to play will get played. Um, so it kind of, it cues it up rather than plays it, which is not how it's supposed to work. So we need 10 etched iron ingots, 3 shafts, a hammerhead, and a metal tip. I don't think I have any of those, except I have the metal shafts. I don't have the hammerhead or the metal tip. And she's on fire. At least there's a workaround to it. You don't want to know how long it took us to find out that workaround, though. Like, you just don't... Like, <laughs> it took us a long time to figure out that it was bugged. <laughs> okay, so we got the industry card. We're doing good, doing good. Put that back in there, that back in there, that back in there. Okay, so the house is coming along. We need beams. We need a lot of stuff. Okay. Did we not just make a whole buttload of lumber, though? Is this going to count? We need beams. Oh my god, we need straps. I think we have a buttload of straps somewhere. Alright, so I need to make a little leather section. I think I want to have this a forge section, because we do go through a lot of forging stuff. And I don't... Yeah, so this is going to be a whole forging area. I almost want to kick it back a little bit. To allow for more forge. So we might. We're going to do that.
Mm-mm-mm. It's gonna be a weird looking house, but it's our house, so it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing it. The get or no get? It is... The only thing I can say about this game is it is truthfully one of my favorite games right now. Like, it's going to be completely up to you if you if you really enjoy this game, but if you're looking for a survival game that has far more depth than every other survival game out right now, and uh, you don't mind kind of being a little bit confused and uh, and really diving into the nerdy parts of the game, it's a really, a really, really solid game. And that's really all I can say about it. The only negative reviews about the game is the the end game is still being polished because it's an early access game, and uh, and there's no offline motor at the moment, which is coming because of people complaining about it. All right, so we need lumber, beams, and poles. Lydia's doing a good job right now, okay? Lydia's doing a magnificent job. Alright, so I know Lexar is going to want a portal area in this house of ours. So the question is, where do we put said portal area? Also because I kind of want a portal area right now and I'm using her as an excuse for making one, but... I'm going to put it over here for now. I almost stopped playing after the first 10 hours because I didn't really get how the game worked. Once everything clicked, I started having a blast and I have 40 plus hours in and out. That's actually exactly how, how I felt about the game. What ingots did you just use, Lydia? 10? Okay, you're fine. You're not fired. Um, but that, no, that is exactly how I felt about the game. I, I honestly, I played the game all day for the first day and I was not sold on it. I, I just came off of, you know, Pal World, uh, playing in Shrouded, things like that. I was not sold on the game. And then I woke up the next day and I dove back into the game because it's my job, which is not a great selling point of a video game. Uh, and then I absolutely 100% fell in love with the game. So the first 10 hours I did not I did not fall in love with the game by any means. Uh, but I really really ended up falling in love with it. Like I would not be playing it right now because the game is doing absolutely terribly on the channel. Like I should not be playing it. Like we had almost 2000 people watching us stream Pal World. We have less than 300 watching us stream this. So I'm not streaming this for money. I'm streaming it because I enjoy it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shoot. Why did that turn off? Oh, servers just went down. Something, something just happened. We're going to purposely disconnect ourselves. I spent so much time lost in the sauce. Still have uh, lots of cushion, but it's incredible. This game has totally been worth it for me. Hell yeah. Hopefully it works once we get back in. There we go. Oh, everything sounded like it broke when we got on. All right. 
right, what's going on? Manage fuel, ignites. Okay. What is broke? I don't know what's broken. I will say this much, as much as I will always love Ark, this has ASA beat by a country mile. Oh yeah. Like I love Ark. Like Ark Survival Ascended definitely got me back into Ark. <clears throat> but dealing with Wildcard again was like not in the cards, you know? Okay, so something broke with this. This is the most bugs that I have had in this game. I don't know what is going on right now. I think it's maybe because I built whatever that was. Um, that's really, really odd. I've played this game for a number of hours now, and I, I've been experiencing more bugs tonight than I have. Oh, I feel like I'm cursed right now, honestly, is how I'm feeling. Really, really, really odd. Anyways, we want to make etched iron ingots if we can. I have 14. Perfect. It allows me to make exactly 10. Nope, it's broken. Something. It's because it's raining. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, it's because it's raining. Stone blocks and carved stone, huh? I want to see what the what this looks like, so that's why I'm why I'm making it right now. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is a bit of a problem. I didn't realize it was raining, so I'm an idiot. So we got sticks, hide, and rope. We don't have any rope. We can definitely get sticks and plant fiber, though. As I'm getting pelted and almost dying. Oh, my God. We need sticks. Oh, shoot. Drink the potion. Jesus Christ. Man, we are getting rode hard and put away wet right now. Good Lord. Make me the tent! Build it before we die! It's all Sky's fault. It's either the hippos or Sky. I don't know what's going on, but the, the freaking tent won't build. What the hell? Good lord. Alright, etched ingots. My god. It gets mad whenever you stay under it. Yep. Turns out that's a hundred percent true. Alright, so we gotta figure out a <laughs> We gotta figure out a roof. Alright, so we need 10 etched ingots. I don't want to light on fire. What else do we need, though? Nothing like trying to build a house all night and then you still live in, a, in the world's worst tent. Alright, so I know we need lumber. Did we ever end up making all that lumber? I don't think so. All right, so we needed, we also need wires, lumber, and synchronous lotuses. We have the synchronous lotuses for sure. All 
What a beautiful home you've made, right? <laughs> Lexar's gonna wake up in the morning and be like, What the hell did you do all night? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> She's gonna be like, Where's all my stuff? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Blackbird, what's going on? Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so the saw table. We gotta go do something. <laughs> we are cruising for a bruising right now. All right. Um, I want to make sure that we have all of the cards, which means Provisioner's Realm. We have Treasury. Oh, okay. So we're going to a Forest Provisioner's Realm. Yep. We're going to put it on hard mode. Extreme? Hard mode. <laughs> Did that just say reopen? Don't forget to nap. You right, you right, you right. Okay, we got all of our etched ingots now. Um, but we also need more sticks and fiber. Which is a tidbit of a problem. Do, 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 do. Uh, the reason I wasn't using the umbrella is because it doesn't help necessarily. It helps you from taking hail damage, but it doesn't help with... We needed to build that whole shack area so we could actually craft stuff. Okay, there we go. Now we got the real bonus. Okay, it is no longer raining. Now we need a hammerhead and a metal tip. Pretty sure we needed multiple of those, but yeah, we need two metal tips. still make the etched ingots and the shafts and everything for that one. But at least we got one of them done. Which was the go. Is that gate not opening? Something funky is going on tonight. There we go. So now we got all the the, the blacksmith's heart with hearth, which is super, super good. Why did this not open? I think something is just really, really buggy tonight. Actually, I mean, it's, it's almost midnight. I suppose this is a good point to stop for the night. Um... 
We're encountering a lot of bugs, which is really odd. I feel like maybe I just need to restart my computer. I feel like this is a me problem because I haven't encountered this at all. Uh, but it is almost midnight, so it's probably a great point to stop for the night. I really do hope you all have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Maybe I'll stream in members discord or something like that after restarting the computer. And we'll just hang out for anybody that wants to uh, wants to chill in discord for a little bit and get off of YouTube here for a little while. Uh, but anyways, I do hope you all have a fan freaking tastic night. I'll see you all in the next one.